A Prayer Before Dawn is currently streaming on Amazon Prime and tells the true story of English boxer Billy Moore as he's incarcerated in a Bangkok prison and has to take up Muay Thai boxing to try to earn his freedom. You guys want to talk about real horror? I talk about chainsaw wielding maniacs and ghosts and monsters and all sorts of shit on this channel, but this is about as scary as it gets right here. Being a foreigner locked up in some third world country prison with some of the most you know, awful human beings imaginable in the most abysmal living conditions. It, this is scary ass shit right here, man. So yes, technically this isn't horror and I talk about non-horror stuff on my channel. I've been watching a lot of movies lately that I have not reviewed just because they're not horror and they're not something I want to review. But when I watched this last night, I was like, this is scary shit. This is reality. Some people will actually go through this. And being a foreigner there puts an even bigger target on your back than some of the other people in there. Not that they don't have it horrible as well, but being a standout in a place like that is not something you want. Now, <clears throat> I've read, I want to say up front that I thought this movie was excellent. That said, um, A, it's not for the faint of heart, although... A lot of people are saying it's excessively brutal and this and that. I've never been one personally to think punching and beating people up in movies is like overly violent. I know a lot of people are shocked by that for some reason, but I guess because I watch so many gory graphic films that unless someone's heads are being caved in and limbs are being removed and they're being filleted like a fish and you know, really wicked, wild, graphic stuff. Just people punching each other. Like, for instance, you know, like Fight Club or something. People are like, okay, I can't watch that. It's just too violent for me. And I'm like, I, I remember I got into, like, somebody thought I was fucking insane. But I was just like, there's no real, there's no violence in that. I just never considered, you know, fighting in movies to be violence. Because then I would have to look at all the fighting movies that I watch is violent films. And for me, they're just not. It has to have involved guns and, and knives and stuff for me to think. So I guess I'm not really the person to ask when it comes to what, is, what isn't what is violent. But um, there's no graphic depictions of gore or anything. But yes, there's a lot of people being punched and whatnot, as would be expected in a fighting movie. But that being said, I do want to clarify a couple things. Number one, this is a very, very realistic and dark film. So, uh, speaking of the realistic part first, um, the fighting. Now, I grew up and, and still love watching, you know, Jackie Chan and Donnie Yen and even more recently the uh, Raid films. And I love that stuff. But that's more choreographed you know um, dance fighting it looks awesome and it and it, it very it very much is from an aesthetic standpoint it's the way to go with fighting in movies because it's pretty to look at it's really cool it's, it's like watching a dance movie where people are punching each other which is great but that's not how fighting really is we've watched fights on television we've watched all sorts of fights and no one fights like that. Trust me, I would be watching the shit out of, out of boxing and, and fighting on TV if the fights on television looked like the fights in the raid, looked like fights in Jackie Chan movies or whatever. I wish fighting was actually like that, but it's nothing like that. <laughs> nothing at all. Uh, people aren't jumping around and spinning and flipping and kicking, and that just doesn't happen. This is much more, <clears throat> you know knock down, drag out fighting where everything's up and close and, and everyone's exhausted and, you know, nothing looks pretty, nothing looks fluid. Um, the only problem stylistically I had with the film, and trust me, I get what the director was going for and I think he nailed it for the most part, but the only reason, the only thing I would say to the film's detriment for me personally was I didn't like how the fights were framed and as I said I got what the director was going for he really wanted to put us 
in Billy's shoes, and which he very much does. Because a huge argument that I've, uh, or complaint, should I say, that I've heard about this film is people don't like that the film is mostly in Thai and there's no subtitles for any of it. And while I can completely understand where those people are coming from, what the point of it for me is to convey to the audience how Billy felt there, how isolated he felt, how he did not speak that language. And so when he went in and these people are sitting around him and talking and who knows what they're saying, I think that makes it so much scarier. I think people have grown so accustomed to getting, you know, the subtitles and this and that, and that's fine and all well. It's funny because the only subtitles in the movie are for when they're speaking English, but because their accents are so thick, they have to give you subtitles so you can understand what they're saying. But all the Thai language in the movie is subtitleless, and 90% of the dialogue is in that language. So it would be interesting to watch this with somebody who could translate or th to throw subtitles up, you know, or to speak that language and watch it. That would be a, a much different experience. But as someone like Billy, who does not speak the language, it put me more in the shoes of him than if I got subtitles. If I got subtitles, that would take away from what he's experiencing because this whole film is through his eyes. It almost felt as if and they couldn't have framed the fights and they could it wouldn't have showcased the amazing performance that Joe Cole gives here and it is an amazing performance let me tell you this guy went all out it, he, this is shot in you know with real prisoners you know ex prisoners but prisoners of Bangkok Thailand prisons so everyone in the film is real and you can look up all their names like when you click on it it's like their only title every freaking person in this movie and I thought everyone did great. They're terrifying. But <clears throat> what I was saying is like, you could have almost shot this in POV, like the Maniac remake with Elijah Wood or something where everything is seen through his eyes because this whole film is seen through his eyes. There, now, I could understand the complaint of the lack of subtitles if there were more characters that had a stake in this that that were integral to the narrative but they're not there is nobody else it is his story we're completely with him and only him the entire time we don't really get to know anybody else in this film this is one man's journey and we're seeing it through his eyes and through his eyes and ears he doesn't understand what the fuck they're talking about now, another complaint I saw from some people in here is that the brutality of this film is just too much and how dare they show the disgusting rape and this and that. This is prison. You watch a film like this, as gritty and as real as it is, and you don't think that you're going to see just horrendous shit, I don't know what to tell you. You shouldn't be watching movies like this. It's not going to sugarcoat or gloss over these awful things that this person experienced. Rape happens in prisons like this. It's just part of the experience. And for them to leave it out would be to neuter a real part of the experience. Is it pretty? Is it something you want to watch? Absolutely not. But it is important to the story because it just adds yet another level of fear to the experience. So you can try to slightly comprehend what this person went through. They can't capture that for anything. It's just, they try and, and, and it's very well done, it's very well directed, it's very well acted, it's this and that, but you're only there for two hours. This person's there day in, day out, night after night, trying to sleep in these conditions where there's no beds, everyone sleeps on the floor one inch from each other, everyone in there wants you dead. There are scenes in this film that are so fucking scary. To try to put yourself in those shoes 
is near impossible. They do the best job they can, though. This film really is gritty and as realistic as it can be. As I said, I would have liked to see the fight, fight showcase better, but I almost feel like that would go kind of against what I was saying about the realism of it. You know, it, it, in order to frame it, take it back a little bit, because it's so close up. It's like from here up on the fights, and so you don't really get to see a lot of the fighting. Um, but I feel like if they would have done that, then maybe they would have had to, uh, you know, maybe make it a little more theatrical, a little more less realistic, just to make it look not so um, ugly. Because as I said, fighting, real fighting, is it's not, it's not glamorous. They always, they always make it in these films like Creed and all this. It's so pretty. It's so well choreographed that it looks like a dance. And real fighting isn't like that. So I don't know. As I said, I think it's just to make it feel like you're in there with him, that you're in that close proximity. But yeah, it, it's a freaking great movie. A24 knocks it out of the park again. I almost feel like I'm giving them more credit than directors these days. Um, but what a great flick. Um, yeah, if you're into prison flicks and you want to see a much more realistic, ugly-ass take, this ain't no Shawshank Redemption, which is a fantastic movie, but this makes the Shawshank Redemption look like a trip to Disneyland. Ugh, the, yeah. So, anyway, let me know what you guys thought if you watch it. If you've already seen it, of course, let me know. Adios.